Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply, and today I want to talk about the brand new all fences for the Flatmaster. So what we've done is we've used our new all track extrusion, and we've incorporated that into the Flatmaster fence. So that adds a whole bunch of uh, different tracks and ways to join this track together. Um, so you can attach feather wheels to it, um, or other things that you may have in your shop. Um, now what we have, yeah, we have the all track as the centerpiece of the um, fence, but then we also have some carbon fiber composite pieces that we use um, as the uprights, and that's how f what fastens it to the Flymaster table. So these fences can be moved um, anywhere alongside the top of the Flymaster. Um, also due to the way they're construct constructed, um, it's a very... Um, accurate 90 degree angle here um, and yeah they're just a well-made fence right here so what we're going to use the fences for there's a couple different things um, first and foremost uh, whenever you buy a fence they always come with a pair of feather wheels um, so what these are going to be mostly used for is holding wood down to the table while you push the material through now, if you have a relatively skinny piece of wood that's relatively long, a single fence works just fine. If it's a fairly wide piece though, that's where a pair of fences comes in very handy. So if I have this right here, it's just a raised panel door. If I have a door like that and want to sand, uh, what I'll do um, is I'll put these fences together here, just like this. They don't have to be quite, you leave a little bit of space in the middle there for that door. Lock it up. And we'll just push through from the back while these hold downs hold it down to the table. So what that does is make it a little bit easier to get consistent feed rate on a wide board like that rather than trying to push it through and hold it down to the table all at the same time. Now these fences can also be used um, for edge sanding. So if I remove these feather wheels here, and if I have a board like this, they make a great way to edge sand. Now I forgot to turn my dust collector on there, um, but this fence here is six inches tall, so really easy to support even a large piece like this up against it. Now probably the coolest thing about it is joining these together when I'm doing a very large piece and making an in-feed, out-feed table, and that's what I'll show you next. What you'll do is basically we're going to steal the track, the all track off of this all fence here, and we are going to join it together with this guy and I'll show you how to make an in feed out feed table. So let me quickly pop this off here. Alright, so once you have all the bolts loose, uh, this track should just kind of slide out like this. And what you can do is set these two parts aside because you won't need them here for that. Um, now, to join them together, you will need a set of joiners like this. So these joiners will slide in these two dovetailed slots. Just like that, and just like that. 
and it'll come with these set screws or these Allen screws and that will tighten the joiners in place. So let me get these in here. Okay, so I have those joiners in place and I just have the set screws on this side um, just in place so I can tighten them on this track. Now what we're going to do is we are going to loosen all the hardware on these brackets here and we're going to slide this track so we have the joint right over top of the drum. That way we have in, even in feed and out feed. So let me loosen up all the hardware on this side. Okay, so once it's all loose, we will just slide this over once again here. So we're going to have it, so the joint is going to go right in the middle there. So we'll slide it in here first. Okay, so we'll just join them up in the middle. We'll grab our Allen key. Okay, so now that we have that joint up in the center, we will go ahead and tighten up all the hardware on these brackets. So now we have an extra long fence and here's a couple little things that I've made here. Um, what I have here are some 1024 bolts with a nut on top. This is just a 3 8 piece of plastic. You can make a similar thing out of plywood or hardwood, whatever you have around. But this little piece will slide right in the bottom of my track. like this and I'll do the same thing on this side just like that and once that's in place you can go ahead and tighten them up so now with these little lips sticking at the end here, rather than an 18 inch wide top, I have a 38 inch wide top because my piece will be supported by these little lips here. So let me grab a piece of wood and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I got the fences all set up here, joined together. So I have four feather wheels um, on it here. Um, I have the two supports on the outside. And what I've also done is I've put an outfeed roller on the far side there you can see so this orientation of the fences or a pair of fences is really handy when you're doing a long piece that's also very heavy um, so what I have here is an eight foot piece of three-quarter MDF um, and this is just kind of a scrap piece just so I can show you how this setup works so let me turn my sander on and I'll kind of show you the benefits of the in-feed out-feed setup here. So on a very long piece of wood like that, having a table that's twice as wide, just like having a large table on a joiner, makes it a whole lot easier to push something like that through. Uh, now the same is true if I wanted to edge sand something like this. Having the fences extra long, 
um, will lead to a straighter, flatter joint overall, um, just because there's more, so you're less likely to tip it, just a little bit easier to push it through. Um, now, one thing I wanted to note, um, with this extrusion here, right over top of the drum, you're always going to sand a very small uh, radius in the bottom of that extrusion. That's totally normal. Uh, once it's sanded, um, it won't sand any further. It'll always be there, but it doesn't affect the performance of the fences at all. Um, so just expect that. So the first time you turn it on, it's going to sand that little bit out. Uh, but then once it's there, it won't sand it anymore. So yeah, um, that's the new fences. They are available as a single or as a pair. Now, if you do get a pair, you can join them together and it does give you a little bit more flexibility on what you can do with them. Um, so yeah, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockfromsupply.com or just comment on the video. And if you want to see future videos, please subscribe.